Great morning starts with good tasty food. Puri, yes, once in a week I need to have puri. Most of the times with chicken or something. But today we're going to have with alu kofta and puri. Generally we make Bombay chutney. But the same thing, we add potatoes. Most of us do it. But here I'm going to make the koftas and do it. And when you eat it with puri, kids will just love it with those little wonderful kofta. So for making this kofta, here I've got potato. In the potatoes, we're going to add a little bit of uh, ajwain. Ajwain is used mainly for good digestion. In this, add a little bit of ginger, chopped green chili, chopped coriander, pinch of salt. Mix all of this. And for the binding purpose, we're going to add a little bit of chickpea flour. That should be good enough. Just mix all of this and make them into small dumplings. Okay? Not too tight, not too big. They have to be very, you know, small, half the size of lemon. Look at this simple kofta like. For this, you know, add some oil in a pan. When the oil is slightly hot, just fry these little koftas till they are slightly colored. Fry the koftas till they are slightly colored and this coloring gives a very nice taste <laughs> to these dumplings. So you can make them really, really golden. Once these koftas are ready, just remove it off from the oil. Look at them. Nice, perfect. In the same oil, add mustard seeds, a little bit of cumin, curry leaf, lots of onion. Okay? I love lots of onion in this kind of curry. In this, add turmeric. You don't want the onions to be brown, just saute it a little bit by adding some salt and in this add lots of green chili also the green chilies also will taste so good in this curry in this add some ginger now we're going to make a batter like mixture with chickpea flour in the chickpea flour add little water a lot of people to make it even more tasty they add some beaten yogurt mix it add a lot of coriander some salt, add lot of water and take this mixture and add to this. That's it. Our one of the tastiest curries for the puri will be ready in no time. This has to thicken only when this is all ready. You're going to add the koftas to it and make fresh hot puri and serve. Curry is all ready. Adding curd is optional. Some people they don't like the raw flavor of um, the chickpea flour. You add curd, it enhances and it makes it better. So now here my curry is ready and let roll the koftas in. That's it. Let it cook for a minute and switch off the flame. Making puri, add very little oil and uh, never use flour to roll your puris. Otherwise your oil will get bad. So just Apply a little bit oil and roll it thin. That's it. And always use hot oil to fry the puris. I love thin puris. You know, recently, for many days, I was in Bangalore for some shoot and they used to make really thick puris and I used to hate it. Thinner puris are tasty. There was a time when I used to be a trainee at the hotel and then every day, Especially if you are training in south of India, you know, for the weddings and all that, they want puri. So we used to make thousands and thousands of puri. So when all the chefs went for break, we used to roll the puris and keep it ready. Once you apply oil, you can put all the puris one over top and put in the fridge. And even after one, two hours, you will be able to, you know, remove them without sticking and fry them. Oil has to be hot, only then the puris will puff up. So just when the puris or in the oil, just press them on top and then you will have perfect puris. So you should get the color right away, otherwise the oil is not hot enough.
when you have hot hot puri and imagine dosa bonda puri they are all enjoyed with good hot potato and with these koftas in it i'm telling you with every bite the puri will be awesome we all love bombay chutney but with the koftas mm mm wow the koftas the koftas literally melt in your mouth and when they are hot mm mind blowing dear friends great breakfast has to be tasty make this and you and your family will just love it